This is Paul. Yeah, I'm just reading this dictionary. Yeah. They have a word called celibate, a person who remains unmarried because of religious vows, one who is sexually abstinent. Yeah. Then they have what's called a cell, uh, a prison, a small room, the smallest unit of any organism capable of independent function composed of a small mass of cytoplasm usually enclosing a central nucleus surrounded by a membrane of a rigid, rigid cell wall, the part of a battery that generates the electricity. Yeah. You know, it's, it's one of these things where if you had a broadcast television station that could broadcast throughout the nation, yeah. and you had a, a clone that was broadcasting the thoughts to a certain population group, yeah. It could affect the cellular structure, the cells of a human mind. Now, some of these broadcast satellite systems of TV stations, they're pretty powerful. <laughs> and you might not see the broadcast, but it's actually broadcasting throughout um, the greater part of the United States. Yeah. Now, I'm kind of thinking that people are hearing what's uh, not necessarily being said, and then what's being said isn't what's being heard, and what's being read on the closed captioning isn't what's being said, and what's being thought <laughs> when watching television could be different than what's being said or what's being read. <laughs> now, when you talk about the cells of a human body, let's say you're on the lizard way of those that decided to have a little lizard blood with their breakfast. <laughs> when you look at the effects of DNA and then you look at the effects of broadcast television, the fish way of doing things could cause those that are fished to think that, look at how bright that is, that's so bright over there. <laughs> Now, it's all about where is broadcast television broadcasting? Is it broadcasting into the mind? Pooch. Is it just broadcasting television and there's nothing going on? NOTHING GOING ON! Or is it broadcasting into the F-U-C-K lizard electricity grid of those that do know? <laughs> Now today I'm gonna want to look at the celibates. <laughs> a lot of a lot of priests are celibate. Religious vows. Yep, yep, yep. A lot of nuns are celibate. You wouldn't think that nuns would be watching TV. You're sitting in a convent doing nothing. <laughs> watching television, happen to be watching the morning news, and a nun begins to think, I'm a lesbian and I should be having sex with another nun. Oh my gosh! Now the easiest way to see the influence on of television on the sexuality of the individual would be to go through the celibates. Now you're a priest, 4th of July, there's not a lot of mass going on. Poo, 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 poo. And it could be that some priests are wondering about their sexuality while watching television. Well, I've said a religious vow that I'm not going to be sexually active, okay? <laughs> now I know, how do you identify that people group that's having their thoughts changed because of somebody that wants to pervert the sexuality of the nation? I could ask for volunteers, let's say I had a large number of nuns that were very attractive, new to the convent. <laughs> I'd like you to sit around and just watch TV and see how that affects your sexuality. How does that affect your religious vow? So somebody's trying to pervert the, the celibate. <laughs> Now, I've heard that there might be some of those that are lizarded in the Catholicism. You know, I had once talked about the Illuminati. My word, that is so bright! Right. Let's say you're an Illuminati Catholic, and you've been having some problems with your religious vows, staying abstinent. And you happen to be on the F-U-C-K Illuminati uh, Catholicism channel. Pooch, could you run through all the religious channels, the BYU? Oh, my word. Oh, angel moron. I... 
Now let's say I had the clone of the brain of the president of the Mormon denomination and what was being said was different than what was being thought. <laughs> Give me every religious station. <laughs> All of those Christian channels where you know you do not have sex before marriage. <laughs> All of a sudden, I feel like a large number of very large-breasted Christian women feel like they need to relieve themselves of the tension of watching Christian television. <laughs> now, I know the fish is supposedly going to come the way of Christianity. But it could be that somebody cloned the religious leaders that are on television. <laughs> You know, I was watching T.D. Jakes last night, and I said, did T.D. Jakes gain some weight because it could? <laughs> I'd never want to think that those on television would ever gain weight. <laughs> but let's say you made a clone of T.D. Jakes without his knowledge he didn't know. <laughs> and what he was saying was not what was being thought. <laughs> Give me all the Christian television stations and all of those that are watching television today on the fourth of July. <laughs> now, I'm going to want to know <laughs> every cell that could be influenced in a human body because of the use of DNA products. <laughs> having a clone broadcast their thoughts through the TV. <laughs> Could you get that for me? <laughs> Let's work on Christianity today. Let's work on Christianity today.